How's it going everybody? Henry here. I wanted to make a quick video on how I made almost $50,000 through Anchor. That is the uh, podcasting app. If you're not familiar with it, it's a website that's owned by Spotify where you can host your podcast and they pay you to do that through ads. Very similar to YouTube. So I'm going to show you some proof and then I'm going to show you one of the ways or a few of the ways that helped me get there. All right, for proof, this is my login screen for Anchor. You can see it's Anchor, 48,000. So just shy of 50, you know, we'll hit that before the end of the year um, for sure. It's This is made from two things. It's made from host red ads. So this is my Anchor Ambassador ad. Um, I'm on a new one, so it's only 4,500 there. Um, so that's the main one. And then of course there's automated ads, which this is what YouTube has. So it's very similar where it just plays like a real ad. So that would be something like a car commercial or, you know, skincare commercial, you know, whatever your audience would listen to. So something relevant to that. Um, so it's just a professional ad and that's where Anchor is going. So just so you know, if you haven't joined Anchor, that's probably what you'll do in the future. I don't know if they're going to continue the ambassador ad program and um, we'll see, but it seems like it's getting harder and harder to get approved for that. But the regular ads, uh, there seems like there's more return on that because they get paid for that. They make a piece and then you get a piece. So I would imagine that's what they're gonna continue. But let me show you some of the things that helped me got there. So this is gonna be pretty silly, but if you've been podcasting, then you would get one of these, a Spotify wrapped. So this is just through Spotify, but this is one of the biggest things right here. So I created 2,793 minutes of new content uh, so far this year. And that's 99% more than creators in my category. So I know that sounds silly, but that's one of the main reasons is consistency. You know, imagine, you know, I do an episode five days a week. So you know, five days a week for a whole year, that's, that's what I do. Imagine how good you will be if you committed to your podcast or your show every day or five days a week for a year or two years or three years, you would get so much better. And I wanted to start with that because when I saw that, I was like really surprised because my podcast is short, you know, it's only 10 to 15 minutes. So it's not that long. So to have done that many more minutes than most people in my category, it's really about consistency and not needing results right away. If you want to hit it big within the first year, podcasting is probably not for you. And that would save you the most amount of time is just recognizing like, if you will only do this for a year, and if you don't get results, then you're gonna quit. Just save the time and don't do it right now. And I know that might be hard to hear and you may not know if you wanna do it for a year, but just that commitment, like if you say, okay, I'm just gonna do this forever and I'm gonna keep pushing, you will find success as long as you keep pushing in your knowledge and expanding and you know getting good at it. But here's some other things that I wanna show you that are just some quick tips that I've learned along the way that have helped me. So one of them, and this one is a big one, um, so you just pull up episodes, and I'm just gonna pull up the latest episode that I did. Um, going to analytics. I like to look and see when people tune out. So this is a new episode, you know, it just came out, but if I go here, I can see the listenership. So people tune in, and then it goes down. But for the majority of this episode, you know, 70, percent ish stayed on this is where the episode ends and i do like a it does a little commercial break and then i just kind of do some last comments so that's why people tune out but all the way to there you have 65 percent 64 percent made it through the main part of it that's good and i look at this every single episode and so if i see a drop off or something where it goes down i'll go back to that episode and see what i did that may have caused people to drop off. Maybe it was a subject matter that people didn't find interest in. Maybe it was a edit, like the way I edited it, people didn't like it, um, but that has helped a ton. The next is gonna be titles. Titles are so important and understanding your niche and what will get people to click is huge. So let me show you what I use for titles. So for titles, I actually use a site called um, what is it? Headline Studio. I'll put a link. Um, it's actually a affiliate link. So if you decide to use it, um, I do make a little bit of money. So I appreciate that. But it, it gives you a headline score and an SEO score. So anything over 80, I use. And then I don't, I don't really judge on this one. So just whatever it comes, it comes. I guess I should pay attention to that more. But I mainly think... What are people going to click on? And so you put your idea in there and then 
you know, you just keep clicking and it gives you, you know, different, um, it'll give you a score, give you some, you know, options to change it or just some suggestions. Then you change it and do it again and just try to get that score up. Those three things are the main things that have helped me is consistency, you know, doing this for a few years now, learning what people like about my podcast, paying attention to when people tune out, and then the headlines. All three of those are major. And so what I'm gonna do, and I did this before and a few people reached out, it was really helpful for me to understand what other podcasters are struggling with. And I believe in the podcast medium because one, that's a lot of money I've made. It's been extremely helpful and I feel blessed to receive it. And so I want other people to be able to do it too. If they can you know, make money doing something they love, that's amazing. Why wouldn't somebody want people to do that? And then, you know, I might want to start teaching this stuff or, you know, sharing it in a way that's more beneficial. And the only way I'm going to learn that is by talking to other people that might be struggling. So I did a few of them already, but if you're interested in doing a one-on-one, -on -one, there's no cost, you know, just be honest, kind of talk about your show and what you're trying to do. And um, we'll talk for about 20, 30 minutes and I'll try to give you any feedback I can. Only thing I'll need to do is listen to your podcast beforehand or as much of it as I can. And, you know, I'll share what's helpful. If that's something you would like. I'll put a link to my Instagram down below. Reach out to me there and we can set it up. Again, no charge. Um, if you do like it and find it beneficial, of course, you can leave a tip. But like That would be great, but there's no expectation for anything. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one.